Okay, hello and welcome to uh, a live lesson for today, which as you can see from the opening little video that I wanted to show you, uh, this is all about robots. Uh, yes, and that video was from Boston Dynamics, I believe. Um, they created a I would say incredible robot. Um, so yes, that was a real sort of interesting opening part there, which I hope you enjoyed the first couple of minutes. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. I really do hope uh, that you are uh, enjoying yourselves. Um, let's have a look to see who we have. Of course, I will just uh, get the pop out chat. Hello, Yell, good evening to you. Stacy, of course, hello as well. Rosemary, good to see you. Florence, hello. Uh, Domenico, hello and good evening to you too. Thank you very much for joining. How am I doing? Unfortunately, not so good. <laughs> uh, both Sophia, my daughter, and I um, have been a little bit sick today so um yes it's uh one of those things unfortunately with children we pick up bugs along the way um so yes <laughs> but i'm okay i'm doing all right all right so yes today we are going to have a look at of course uh talking about the topic of robots now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be having a look at some vocabulary uh, then we're going to be looking at of course how to ask for people's opinions uh, giving your opinions as well um, and then also having a look at some uh, phrasal verbs uh, a couple of idioms and then a conversation practice uh, at the end of course as we go along, please practice the vocabulary, the phrases, type them into the comments. I will, of course, uh, take a look at some of them along the way. And of course, if I need to, I will help give some correction or suggestions to make them a little bit better. Um, no problem, Chaddy, hello. Dan, hello as well. Yes, Chaddy, it's been a long time, right? <laughs> uh, Dominico, yes, it's one of those things, unfortunately. <laughs> Hopefully we'll all be better tomorrow. Okay, so uh, let's get into today's PowerPoint lesson then. And I'm going to be going over, so hopefully, uh, as you can see, that was the YouTube video. And there I am there. <laughs> All right. And we're going to be having a look at the presentation, which is talking about robots, of course. All right. So this is what we're going to be quickly uh, taking a look at, hopefully expanding on some of your vocabulary or practicing some of the vocabulary that you are already familiar with okay some of these um, will actually be useful for other topics of conversation too so they are not limited just for this topic so to speak all right so firstly how do we describe a robot now this is important because we need to know what actually a robot is. Like, what is a robot? Um, and I looked this up, just I wanted to get the specific definition from Cambridge. And they said, basically, it's a machine controlled by a computer that is used to perform jobs automatically. Yes, which is interesting, of course. So that got me thinking, right? That got me really, really thinking, actually, because when we're talking about robots that are probably controlled by computers, I'm sure we use many of those in our daily lives, right? <clears throat> so 
What do you use that is technically a robot? Any ideas? What can you guys think of? So in the comments, let's quickly brainstorm something or some things that we use that could be considered robots. What do you think they are? Uh, Tra, hello. Of course, lovely to have you. Thank you very much. Um, so yes, what do you think they are? What can you think of that we use in our daily lives that could be considered a machine controlled by a computer that is used to perform jobs automatically? Any ideas? What do you think? I've got a couple of ideas, of course, but I just want, I would like to hear what you guys think first, okay? So in the comments below, let me know what are your ideas on this question? Okay, what is something that you use that could be uh, considered a robot? Something that basically does something automatically, that is controlled by a computer. Yeah, now that's a good one. That's a good one, actually. Yeah, it could be, uh, especially the um, iRobots, right? The iRobot vacuum cleaners. Yes, uh, those are very, very popular indeed. A drone. Yeah, a drone could be, certainly. I guess the rice cooker in my kitchen is a robot. Uh, yeah, of course, because you press a button and, you know, it does it for you. You don't have to do anything, right? Uh, Julia, hello, good evening, good to see you. Yeah, a rice cooker is a great idea, well done. Yeah, vacuum cleaner is good, of course. Robot doctor, <laughs> that's cool, absolutely, yeah, very good indeed. Now, Probably a couple of interesting ones that I think most people are familiar with. Um, for example, dishwashers, right? We have dishwashers or washing machines. Uh, those are very interesting. Okay. Um, vacuum cleaner, dishwasher. Yeah, absolutely. Very, very much so indeed. Yeah, dishwasher, you put the dishes in, you press a button, and then it washes it for you. So yeah, it's kind of automatically cleaning your dishes, right? So I think people's images and I would say our perception sometimes is interesting of robots, right? We think of them as kind of like human-like uh, sometimes, but actually we have lots of things. Yes, yell, AI, absolutely. Electric cooker, yes, rosemary, great. Tra, yeah, very good indeed. All of those, fantastic. Very, very good indeed, no problem at all. Uh, cars have data uh, to do some things by themselves. Of course, we're gonna have a look at some vocabulary uh, around that in just a moment. But yeah, absolutely wonderful. Very good indeed. Okay, so let's take a look here, right? So we've got some vocabulary that we can look at um, here. And the first one is, of course, robot. A machine that can do tasks automatically. So as I said in an example here, we have many robots that help us with our daily lives, of course. All right. Um, the next one is a very, very important and useful word. Automated. OK, so we hear this a lot, especially in manufacturing. Uh, they like to make factories much more automated. So what does that mean? Um, automated means that it's a task 
that can be done by a robot, not a human. So it's automatically done, right? For example here, the factory is looking to automate its production, looking to make it more sort of automatic. No people, just robots, right? Siri and Alexa are robots as well. I agree. Yes, they are. Yeah, absolutely. Of course. Very good. Uh, there's many, many things that are considered to be kind of robots or AI, which, for example, if ever you use your filter on your email, that is basically using a robot because it's automatically doing something for you, right? You're filtering out things. You don't need to do it by yourself. So yeah, Stacy, absolutely perfect stuff. Uh, indeed. The next one is <laughs> kind of something that I wanted to throw in here, and that is robotic. Um, it's something that <laughs> moves like a robot. So it's not really smooth. Um, in my example here, the way he dances is so robotic. Yes. So he doesn't dance very loosely or smoothly. Um, yes, we can say robotic in the way someone moves. Of course. Awesome. The next one is what's called a robotic arm. Now, possibly we could think of many things such as, of course, a robotic arm uh, on humans. Uh, generally, though, when we're talking about robotic arms, this again means in a factory or during production of products. The robotic arm will pick things up and move them um, and place them down or they will turn them around. It makes things easier in factories. So, for example, we have just installed a new robotic arm to help speed up production. Okay. Aria, hello and good evening. Good to see you. Uh, nowadays, robots have taken over in many sectors, such as textile industry or clothing industry, to increase the production of textiles. Yes, they have. As similar, I said here, to speed up production. Yeah. Um, they have, you can, of course, put some of these together, right? We have installed some new robotic arms to automate and speed up our production line. So there we go. We've included automated robotic arm and of course, speed up production. So we can also link them together. All right. So, yes, those are just some of the vocabulary that we can use. The next part is uh, this one, which is what you were mentioning, Florence, is driverless, uh, especially nowadays. Driverless is a, a great word to use and it doesn't need a driver. And of course, I think, yeah, you mentioned drones as well. Right. Drones can be driverless uh, or manless, as we can sometimes call them as well. Tesla are making driverless cars. Um, or you could say self-driving. Yeah. Um, either one is OK, of course. Yes. Tesla. Indeed. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Tesla are making driverless cars. I think Google as well, maybe, but I'm not sure. Maybe. Uh, I know the Google Maps car is driverless. Yes. If ever you see the Google Maps car going around, um, yes, it's driverless, which is interesting. Okay, the next one. Self-operated. Um, 
which again means that it is not necessary for someone to press buttons, right? Uh, it doesn't need anyone to use it. So we can say self-operating is a good one to use. So all of our machines are now self-operating, right? Um, meaning again, that we don't need people to use them, of course. Now this one, uh, I'm sure everybody has come across this word. It's very, very useful and it's used in many different situations. Um, when we're talking about search engines or YouTube or computer programs, yes, uh, algorithm, right? Algorithm. So it's a difficult pronunciation, actually. So algorithm, algorithm. So you can practice trying to pronounce that one. Alga. It's not really algor, right? We say alga rhythm yeah them at the end algorithm all right we can see robots in many of supermarkets around the world for instance the checkout machines which have been installed to prevent long queues yes uh self-service they are yes indeed um so let's take a look here youtube uses an algorithm to suggest videos and that is absolutely spot on because they use, of course, their uh, algorithm. It's a set of rules or processes that the computer or machine must follow. If you follow it, then it will recommend videos, of course. So make sure you like and share. I don't know why that came up. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just joking. All right, that was a joke, by the way. Um, but yes, that is part and parcel. Many YouTubers will say, like and share, of course, it will help the algorithm. Yes, it's certainly a very common phrase to use. The next one is redundant. And this is no longer needed or useful. Of course, we hear this word a lot when we are talking about robots, when we're talking about AI. So in a few years time, many workers will be made redundant. Yeah. So they believe that they will be replaced, of course. So if you have maybe 100 workers, but a machine can do the job of 100 workers. It's a no brainer. <laughs> I'm sure most companies will use the machine and not the people. Um, machines don't get sick. They don't need a break usually anyway. Um, so yes, we can use this one. Redundant is a good one. Um, Yes, many of the menial jobs are going to die out in the near future. Yeah, good. Uh, yes, yell, I agree. I believe so. I, I think so too. That will probably happen in the future. Certainly with Tesla, indeed. Yes, um, 100%. Uh, and maybe with SpaceX as well. Yeah, of course. Good. All right. And also as well, you could say many of the manual jobs, um, manual jobs are, of course, things that need lifting, things that need moving. Um, those are manual jobs. So most of the time, robots will basically take over from people in those types of jobs. Cool. The next part is Android, right? Now, funnily enough, Android is a robot that looks like a human. You could also say humanoid. Humanoid is also okay to use, but Android is a good one to use. 
right? So we can use um, Android or we could say humanoid. They look like us. Quite scary though, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Most people's image of a robot is that of an Android. So most people when they think of robots they think they look similar to people of course um and yeah in some cases they do of course uh yeah in other workers will make it become redundant because robots can do their jobs in a quicker way yeah absolutely they can and that brings me on to this one time saving right time saving this gives you more time to do other things right when we talk about something is time saving or something saves time it means that we don't need to waste our time doing it because it's automated it's automatic washing machines save a lot of time because we don't have to wash clothes by hand anymore. So drying machines, dishwashers, washing machines, they are all time saving machines uh, for us in our everyday lives. Yeah. Uh, the next one is intelligent um and that is certainly a very important word that comes up a lot talking about this topic something or someone has a lot of knowledge so robots will be more intelligent than humans yes some people think this can happen some people think it cannot happen. Um, I don't know what the future holds, but yeah, many people have differing ideas and opinions, but it's fun to do talk about them. Uh, I don't know why it got so, make sure you share and like. <laughs> I made a mistake with that one. Don't worry about that one. Uh, maintain is this one here. This means to keep something working. Um, and that is probably going to be the human's job, right? That will be our job. Our jobs will change from actually doing the task to making sure that the machine is working well. All right. If you are good at time management, your work will be time saving to more productive in other areas yes absolutely if you work more effectively or efficiently yes it might be but not sure because we can control robots that is the i would say saving part of robots is that at the moment humans need to help them and control them and write uh, certain algorithms for robots so we can control them um, so maintain means to keep something working uh, we will only need to maintain the robots as i said only the maintenance keep them running keep them working otherwise yeah, we don't really need to do the actual tasks. We just need to make sure that they are working well um, and not broken, of course. Now, one thing that I didn't add in here is that generally speaking, robots are single function. So I wanted to add this one in, but I just thought of it a moment ago single function they only have one purpose they only have one job your dishwasher only has one job to wash your dishes 
your washing machine only has one job, and that is to wash your clothes. Of course. But robots could control us in the future. Yes, Stacy, maybe. <laughs> That's a good debate to have. I agree. Um, can you imagine a robot cutting your hair or shaving your beard at the barbers? I would be worried. <laughs> I would be worried. But then again, we use robots. Uh, for performing surgeries nowadays. Um, yeah, it's hard to think, right, about it. Possibly it could do uh, in the future. Scary things to think about, of course. But as I said, yes, the idea of robots or machines is usually single function. They are not used for multi-purpose or multi-functions. All right. Uh, wonder what small talk would be like in the future. Yes. <laughs> small talk would be, do you need some oil? Uh, no, I'm OK. <laughs> yeah. Um, the next part that I think is quite commonly used in this area um, is basically we use more and more or less and less. These are phrases that we use to create emphasis in our sentences, um, especially when we're describing uh, certain aspects or certain things. So, for example, more and more means much more. Therefore, we can use smartphones are becoming more and more important in our daily lives. Um, pretty true, I think. Nowadays, we have to use smartphones in our daily lives. It's very common. It's very popular. Um, and yeah, without a smartphone, it's very difficult, I think. Um, so as we can see here, more and more, right? It's much more. Both you could use. You could use much more, but sometimes you might hear more and more. So it's a quite... Um, I would say it's quite a na natural way of expressing yourself. The opposite, though, is less and less, which means, of course, much less. And an example here is social media is becoming less and less trustworthy over time. OK. Um, so, yes, less and less trustworthy over time. Um, Dominico, can you imagine virtual working environment? Interesting that you say that. Yes. Um, because, and this is an interesting one. I haven't really talked about this much, but I have been teaching uh, in VR uh, recently. So I've been using VR uh, with one of my students. Um, and it's it's kind of fun and interesting. It's a little bit strange, but it's pretty fun, actually. Um, so I've tried it. Yes. For teaching. <laughs> All right. Um, so the next part is especially with these kinds of situations, debates and topics. We need to look at asking people for their opinions. Um, it's always good. I am hearing more and more about beta these days. Yes. Uh, meta. Yes. Metaverse. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Especially with Mark Robotic Zuckerberg. Uh, he looks like a robot. Doesn't anyone think that? Zuckerberg looks and sounds like a robot. <laughs> I think Mark Zuckerberg is a humanoid. Uh, <laughs> all right. That's a joke, by the way. <laughs> all right. Uh, Dominica, as things stand for now, at least the future seems to be set towards the direction of metaverse. Yes, absolutely. Indeed. All right. So... 
asking for someone's opinion. So here we go. We can use these to talk about, um, of course, what we want to talk about. We don't have to use this to use uh, for this topic, which is robots, but um, we're going to use it, of course, for today. But we can use these with pretty much any topic anyway. So I just want to kind of refresh and get you guys to um, remember, uh, think about how we can use them. So how do you feel about, and then something. Okay. Um, what are your thoughts on, and then something. Okay. Um, the next one here is, what's your opinion of da, 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 da. now notice this one here when we're using thoughts right um we use the plural what are your thoughts on um but usually when you we use opinion we use the singular what's your what is your opinion of we don't really say what are your opinions of we we don't really say that we just kind of we say thoughts as plural and we say opinion as singular uh, that's an interesting difference uh, when asking for someone's opinion all right and then we can use also uh, closed questions for example are or aren't you worried about and then something do or don't you think and then of course something as well so these are very very useful for asking someone's opinion um how would you feel how would you feel being represented by an avatar well yes um it's an interesting thing yeah uh, as i said uh dominico i used um vr uh to teach before so it was an avatar of me um, which is kind of weird and strange i do agree with you <laughs> but in some way it's kind of interesting as well um there are lots of interesting positives and negatives to this technology of course but i think actually talking about the metaverse i would like to do that as one particular topic because it is so much to talk about within that space so i think that's a that would be a cool topic to do uh, later down the line and maybe i might uh hook it up to the computer <laughs> you can see my avatar <laughs> all right nowadays some educational teaching platforms use ai yes in the way of keeping up with high tech that's true they do yes they use artificial intelligent answers absolutely so now giving your opinion okay so we can have a look at this one here giving your opinion um well i honestly believe da, 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 okay um using this one here well i honestly believe and then something okay uh i tend to see it in this way right um is another good way of giving your opinion these are quite um i would say they're not they're not necessarily casual um they are a little bit maybe more towards the formal side um but you can use them with other people um day-to-day -day conversations in business as well i wouldn't say that they are um only used in one particular area i find the thought of something right yes so this is a good one i find the thought of something and then saying how you feel all right and then the next one i must admit right and then giving your opinion i must admit 
this is interesting or it's quite scary okay uh and then the next one i genuinely do think something um this one's not used as much as i uh, i would think uh but it's kind of a cool one to use i think most people use i think um most people use uh, i believe here are just some other ways in which you can you know give your answers a variety um and that's what it's all about in english giving yourself a variety of different tools words phrases uh to use and especially in um for example ielts i know that when you are giving your answers if you use a variety of different words and sentences and phrases the examiner will certainly look at your answers more favorably because you're showing expressing different opinions in different ways so these are just some other ways in which we can of course express our opinions all right this is an ielts part three question which is do you think that teachers will be replaced by robots in schools yes i have seen that one <laughs> yes it's a very interesting topic to talk about um i would have to say no because the yes I, I would have to say no because asking questions formulating debates um being able to as you say like debate with the teacher uh what they're teaching and how they are teaching it is very important for us to grow and learn uh, as a society um but yes it's an interesting one um programming is part of robot absolutely programming is a very important part um that's programming algorithms making the algorithms right yes are you worried about spending more and more time on social media um not really no <laughs> i don't spend so much time on social media um i mostly do social media for teaching um youtube and facebook uh for my teaching but that's about it really other than that i don't really spend much time on it so yes cool uh let's have a look at the next part then which is your feelings okay so as i said is we've looked at giving your feelings right or giving your opinions I wanted to go over how you feel. So you can say something is fascinating or intriguing or exciting, right? Those three are very positive. Very, very, very positive. Uh, is, I must admit, the same as I have to admit. Um, Florence, yes, absolutely. Um, both are okay to use. You can use either one. Um, they have the same meaning, of course. All right. Well, I honestly believe human qualities are difficult to completely uh, replace. I would 100% agree with that uh, comment there. Absolutely. There is no substitute for human interaction. And that's where I think it's very important that we be careful in how much we use robots i think robots are fan fascinating and, and interesting um and quite amazing to be honest but we have to be careful um and that yeah that's actually what i think <laughs> so you going back to the feelings right so as you can see here, I must admit, and I don't know why I've used two. Uh, I must admit, I think robots are fascinating. This is because there are many possibilities um, 
there are many possibilities for us uh, when using robots. Okay. The next part is the negative, terrifying, scary, frightening. Yes. Um, these are, of course, discussing and expressing the negative uh, side of things. So, for example, here, I find the thought of robots quite terrifying. If they can become more intelligent than us, uh, it should be than us, <laughs> than us humans, uh, then I don't think we will be able to control them. So you can see a different spectrum there. One is positive, one is negative. All right. So uh, what are your feelings about robots? OK, so just quickly, let me know in the comments. What are your thoughts on robots? Uh, do you find them intriguing, fascinating, exciting or do you think they are terrifying, scary, or frightening? What do you think? Okay, San Diego, hello. Mm. All right. So, yes, what do you guys think? Uh, what is your uh, opinion about robots? Um, yeah. As you can see, two examples, one positive and one negative here. But I would like to know your personal um, ideas and thoughts. What do you think? Yes, about them. Because it's a nice, um, I think it's nice to be able to express our own feelings, of course. All right. I am terrified to give a thought to what I have read in the last scientific publications. Scientists have found out that the uh, proliferation of gadgets have dropped our IQ significantly. Yes, 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 yes. Um, robot is a great invention. It helps us deal with complicated tasks. There we go. Yeah. Interesting. Um, absolutely. Yes, of course. Not only that is that's a good uh, point, actually, is it helps us deal with complicated tasks. But also robots have allowed us to not perform dangerous tasks as well um especially in factories robots can do things that we cannot do uh due to safety problems safety issues yeah so let's have a look good uh joanna good i think robots are fascinating because nowadays they get easier to complete repetitive tasks yes absolutely they certainly do indeed yeah, they are great at doing repetitive things. Uh, in my opinion, robots would be terrifying. Interesting. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> A mixed bag of emotions. Yes, I agree. Um, yes, robot helps in difficult tasks. Good. Very, very good indeed. Awesome. So... As you can see, there are many different ways for us to express our feelings towards or about robots. So, um, actually, uh, it's not that one. I'm going to move that there. And yes. So what I want to do now is actually not do the conversation practice. Uh, I want to do idioms and phrasal verb. Um, okay, Boyana, hello. I'm a nurse and I can't imagine a robot doing my job. 
because nurses need to have the compassion they need to have the care a robot cannot replace that right yeah uh, imagine robots being able to take care of people um kind of i would say no emotion <laughs> really there's no emotion there yeah i must admit that i am fascinated about what the robots are capable of but I'm scared about the speed of these evolution good okay Florence here good I must admit that I am fascinated so fascinated about what the robots are capable of but I am scared uh, about the speed of the evolution yeah, whenever we're using, um, whenever we're using our own feeling, right, we can say is I am fascinated or I am terrified. When we're talking about other objects or other things, we would say robots are terrifying. Uh, robots are interesting, right? So we would change the idea. So our personal feeling, if it's linked to me, we would use ED. But if we're talking about the actual object or situation, we use ING. All right. Cool. Uh, based on my knowledge, the Internet and robots are making us believe that we possess multitasking skills when in fact we don't have them by nature. Yes, true. Yes. <laughs> no problem. Yes, that's very true indeed. Good. All right. Robots also help us do boring jobs. Yes. I think Terminators gave us bad impressions. Yeah, they did. <laughs> yes. That was an interesting, um, yeah, movie series, right? Yeah. Um, of course. But sometimes it's terrifying. Maybe I watch sci-fi horror movies too much. Possibly. <laughs> Good. So let's take a look at some idioms and phrasal verbs that could be linked to this topic. So, for example, uh, take over can mean to replace, of course. So we replace something. It means take over or someone. The next one is get right. Um, it means to make something uh, correct or, um, of course, get something correct. Either one you can use, of course, there. Carry out is a great one indeed. This means to do something, a job or a task, right? So carry out means to do a task or do a specific job. The next one is iron out. This means to remove any issues or problems. Yes. Um, if you think of a shirt and it has lots of wrinkles, you want to iron out the wrinkles to make it look better, to make it look good. Um, you're removing the wrinkles to make it look um, the best it could be. So, yes, they are removing any issues or problems. The next one is good one. Game changer. Something that could bring a big change. Uh, the next one is well-oiled machine. And this means something that works very well of course a well-oiled machine means something that works very well this could also mean things such as uh like you know humans if we talk about a football team or a baseball team or a basketball team who are at the top very good team you could say they are a well-oiled machine because they do things very well 
together. They're like a machine that works together. So it's okay to use this phrase for humans as well. All right, Mari, hello, good evening. Uh, unfortunately, the brain is not consciously able to deal with two tasks at once. This leads uh, me to say that we can't bite. Ah, uh, this one here, uh, Dominica, we can't bite off more than we can chew. Yes, we can't bite off. Good. All right, nice. So let's take a look then at a quiz that we can do. Of course. All right. So let's take a look. I'm going to do those ones. All right. And yes, there we go. So here we are. Where is it? There we go. No. Ah, here we go. <laughs> I wondered where it went. It's there. So let's take a look at this um, here. Okay. After about three attempts, he finally something it something took out, got right, carried out, which is the correct answer. What do you think is the correct answer? for this one all right they may try to have power using technology but they wouldn't care about people in poverty uh yes i agree stacy they wouldn't understand the social side of things of course okay after about three attempts he finally something it something Okay, good. Very, very good indeed. Nice. Absolutely no problem at all. All right. Very good. I think most of you have got this spot on and correct. Indeed. So yes, you are right. Uh, after about three attempts, he finally got it right. Huh? No, that's not right. <laughs> it changed my answer. No, you guys are perfect. This, <laughs> ignore this machine here. That was absolutely spot on. Um, I don't know why it changed it. <laughs> All right. Um, yes, got it right is the perfect answer. So don't worry about that one there. Uh, they have too many issues at the moment. They need to something them da 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 da, and then they can release it. All right. Yes, game changer, well-oiled machine, or iron out. All right yeah good absolutely let's hope that this hasn't changed my answer <laughs> if it has i'm not gonna be happy all right iron out is the correct answer perfect stuff well done okay the next one here the new os update that they are going to release will be a something it'll be three times faster ironed out game changer well oiled machine which one do you think is the correct answer yes good Awesome. Fantastic. All right. Good job. Very, very good indeed. Nice. Yeah, Boyana, well done. Stacy, yes. Rosemary, good. Dominico, good. Um, Sarriega, yes. Florence, Yell, and Mari, of course. Yes. Game changer. Yeah. 
Of course, it means that it will bring about a big change indeed. Well done. All right. The next one here. Google something tests on its new GPS system. Right. Google da, 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 tests on its new GPS system carried out, got right, took over. What would we use in this case? OK, so Google something tests on its new GPS system. Yeah. Carried out, got right or took over. Nice. Well done. Very, very good indeed. Fantastic stuff. All right. Nice. Yeah. All of you getting this right. Rosemary. Yes. Dominico. Well done. Yeah. Oh, good trial. Fantastic. Boyana. Absolutely. Sadriega. Yes. Good job. Indeed. Uh, Than. Okay. Mari. Well done. Perfect. Very good. Yes. Google carried out tests performed a job did something all right <laughs> the next one uh, i don't think that's true <laughs> it's something that i made up uh so it's probably not true don't worry <laughs> all right the next one sally asked susan to da 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 da, da from dave because he was moving to germany <laughs> All right. Sally asked Susan to da, da 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 right from Dave because he was moving to Germany. Carry out, get right, or take over. Uh yeah, Dominica, yeah, conducted is a good one. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no problem at all. Another good um synonym that we can use for it. Yeah. Fantastic. Yes. Very good. Very, very good indeed. Uh, that nice. Rosemary. Yes. Boyana. Mari. Well done. Dominico. Good. Um, yes. Sarega. Good. Stacy. Yell. Tra. And Joanna. Well done. Take over is the correct answer. Sally asked Susan to take over from Dave because he was moving to Germany. Good. All right, the next one. Uh, Toyota's production line is something. It's so smooth. Ironed out, a game changer, a well-oiled machine. Toyota's production line is something. It's so smooth. some water okay yeah good lovely stuff Stacy yes uh, yeah absolutely Florence good job Boyana well done Mari Stacy Rosemary Sarriega Than and Charles spot on well-oiled machine. Dominico, well done. Good job. Fantastic stuff. Very well done indeed. So that was just looking at some of the um, different uh, idioms and, of course, phrasal verbs that we can use. Now, the last part for today is just to have a look at a conversation practice. OK, so what I would like us to try and do, of course, is to practice a quick conversation, uh, which is talking about the topic of um, robots. So let's take a look at the conversation together first. And then after that, we're going to take a role each and you can practice out loud. Um, and of course, try to have the conversation with myself. So let's take a look here. How do you feel about the advancement of robots, especially in the workplace? 
Well, I honestly believe they are becoming more and more important. Yes, not in, important. Okay, they are becoming more and more important for us to progress in the future. Aren't you worried that they will take over lots of jobs and make many people redundant? No, not really. Actually, I'm sure it will have the opposite effect and create more jobs because we will need more people to program and maintain the machines. What do you think? I'm pretty excited to see what the future holds, especially in the driverless car market. I think that could benefit many people in the future. Don't you think they're dangerous? Yeah, at the moment they, are, they aren't perfect and need to iron out some of the issues that they have. But once they get it right, they'll, they'll be a big game changer in the car industry. I must admit, I have to agree with you, all right? So now, of course, my head is blocking some of these. So I'm going to make myself smaller. There. <laughs> all right. So I've made myself smaller. And you can see it easily now. All right. So let's take a look then at doing this one uh, once again. And what we're going to do is... Um, I would say that for the first part, um, you guys can use the red sentences and I will use the black sentences. So try and speak out loud, of course. Don't worry if your family or friends are around. Uh, this is practice. It's it's starting to, of course, get those outputs going, of course. All right, so you guys are going to use the red sentences. So you'll be starting with the conversation. So let's give it a go. All right, please start. Well, I honestly believe they are becoming more and more important for us to progress in the future. Your go. No, not really. Actually, I'm sure it will have the opposite effect and create more jobs because we will need more people to program and maintain the machines. What do you think? Don't you think they're dangerous? I must admit, I have to agree with you. All right, good job. Well done indeed, absolutely fantastic. So now let's switch over so we get the chance to practice the other side of the conversation and also use some other vocabulary and phrases that we have been looking at today. So this time you guys will be using the black sentences. I will be using the red ones. So once again, 
Let's give it a go. I'm going to start with the red ones, of course. How do you feel about the advancement of robots, especially in the workplace? Your go. Aren't you worried that they will take over lots of jobs and make many people redundant? Okay, you'll go. I'm pretty excited to see what the future holds, especially in the driverless car market. I think that could benefit many people in the future. Here we go. Yeah, at the moment, they aren't perfect and need to iron out some of the issues that they have. But once they get it right, they'll be a big game changer in the car industry. The last part. All right. Awesome stuff. Well done, guys. Very, very good indeed. Uh, absolutely no problem at all. Fantastic stuff. Okay. So that was talking about robots and of course the industry of kind of like robots and computers now there could be so many other things that we could go into and dive into um and i would like to revisit this topic at some later date and go into as we talked about like the metaverse and other sort of relatable topics as well um the one reason i didn't make it so long today is um and i'll give you a good phrase i have a dodgy tummy um as i said uh, to you guys before uh that my daughter and i have caught a bug uh yesterday and today so uh, we've been feeling a little bit under the weather um so hopefully uh that lesson was still useful and good <laughs> all right um i do apologize that i didn't make it as long as i usually do um but yes i do have quite a dodgy tummy today and not feeling a hundred percent all right um yes i could talk about this topic for hours on end i agree it's such a good um topic to talk about right it's fun uh stacy yeah no pro it will it will be about a day um that it will go it's like a 24 hour bug um kindergartens always have these kind of things <laughs> mari thank you very much thank you indeed all right aria hello no problem yes please do of course no problem and also guys if you have any requests about topics uh, that you would like me to cover in the live lessons um let me know i'm more than open to having your suggestions about topics or different types of situations for example if you wanted to do a situation about meetings uh, negotiations um, if you want to do like a live lesson about small talk anything let me know and i'm more than happy to look into it and if i can make it into a live lesson 
then absolutely I will do that, of course. All right. Tra, thank you very much. Rosemary, lovely to see you. Thank you as well. Indeed. Uh, Sarajega. Oh, no problem. I, not, not a problem. Not a big issue. <laughs> All right. Um, no worries. Dominica, take uh, care as well. Yes, I will be better by the weekend. No problem. Indeed. Uh, Florence, is it correct if I wish you a good recovery to you? Um, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. But I think I think when we say good recovery, um, good recovery often means like kind of like after surgery. Um, if we have like a broken bone or something like that. That's usually uh, where we would use recovery. Uh, we would just say mostly get well is OK. Right. Um, it's a little bit more uh, casual. Yeah. Whereas like recovery, um, you would say is mostly to do with like surgeries. Yes. Um, but yeah. Um, Boyana, no problem at all. Thank you very much indeed. Awesome. If you guys haven't, please hit the like button. Um, as uh, I said earlier, maybe it helps the algorithm. <laughs> okay. Um, but yes, thank you all for joining us. Yeah, no problem at all. Really appreciate you joining. Okay. All right. Florence, thank you very much. See you all very soon indeed. Have a lovely evening, afternoon, or wherever you may be. It might be the morning. I'm not sure. But have a great day, and I will see you again. And I promise this time, Saturday will be the release of another video. Not Sunday, but Saturday. I'm going to get it out this time. All right, guys. Take care. See you again soon. Bye-bye.